Things that hinder me from worshiping freely would be uh, thinking about how others are going to perceive it. I get in my head about how it's going to come across either on stage or um, did I say that right? Did that come out right? Or instead of just putting all that aside and remembering that worship is just between me and him. It's from here to the throne and uh, that none of that really matters. For me, as a worship leader, I tend to struggle with focusing on distractions. And so I, my goal in worship is to eliminate distractions, uh, eliminate the things that would take attention away from God. A lot of those can be pride or uh, ego or just even the lighting or something in the room. And so when I can simplify the equation and, and put all the attention and focus on God and what He's done, then I believe it. It eliminates the distractions and allows all the, the focus to be on Him. I am hindered from worshiping freely when I have a critical spirit. When I start grading or critiquing performance, whether on the stage or off the stage, like whether I'm like leading or whether I'm attending worship, it zaps me out of worship so fast uh, that it's actually hard to recover from. And God has been merciful and patient to work with me through that for years. Um, and I think I will kind of always have to work on that. I think one way that I really hindered when it comes to worship is the fact that I'm easily distracted. Uh, I wish I wasn't, but but I am. And oftentimes when I worship, I find myself needing to, to close my eyes so that I can focus uh, only on the goodness of God or only on the depravity of my sin because both of those things are, are ever present in my life. I think that something that hinders me from worshiping freely is um, like so many of us, we get so fixated on our circumstances. Uh, I, I heard a friend that I look up to kind of describe it as like you're you're looking at a painting, um, you know, in a museum and you're and you're point blank, you're looking at the canvas, but but when you can kind of step back and, and start to see a little bit more perspective, you you can take your eyes off your circumstances and fix your eyes on on God who holds those circumstances in his hands. And it's it's freeing, it's comforting, and it really allows you to um, to let the chains fall off and to be truly fixed on him. <laughs>